Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today in this video where we're going to be reacting to another of Tom McDonald's songs. This one, oh actually, it's Tom McDonald's and Adam Collingon. I love these two guys together. The last one I reacted to, uh, you had Daz in it as well, which was absolutely amazing having all three of them together. But this one's titled Race War. Now, I am looking forward to this one because this guy, or these guys, they spit some facts. All right. Without any further ado, people, let's go. Oh. It's okay to be racist. As long as you hate on the Caucasians Teaching white kids that their shades the same as school shooters and rapists Maybe I'm tripping cause the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys And the high heels who identify as the white women I'm not proud to be white but I'm fine with it cause I'm not allowed to have pride in it Cause the colonizers and the white biggest made white history my business I ain't never gonna give a damn if you like me I ain't gonna trip when they stereotype me I'm a white boy and a white boy like me knows that all lives matter Bite me when I was younger they taught me to never see color To treat every man as if he was my brother But now that we're grown up we hate one another for all of the ways that we struggle and suffer They come for better we when I was younger, they taught me to never see color. Color to treat every man as if he was my brother, but now that we're grown up, we hate one another for all of the ways that we struggle and suffer. They coming for better, we running for cover. The government wants us divided and dumber, addicted and drunk in the gutter, so we never wake up and never recover. We never wake up and never recover. Okay, okay, okay. We've been taught that as a white person, you've got white privilege. I'm only just asking questions here, by the way. Just asking questions. Obviously, I'm not a white person, so I don't understand what it is to be taught that you've got white privilege. But as a black person, sometimes we've got a question when we're always making those remarks. It doesn't just come from black people, and um, black people, by the way. Call me culture vulture because I. Go back. But now that we're grown up, we hate one another for all of the ways that we struggle and suffer. They coming for better, we running for cover. The government wants us divided and dumber, addicted and drunk in the gutter. So we never wake up and never recover. Call me culture vulture because I rap good. I don't pop stands or smoke backwoods. But they call me a wigger and label me Hitler and hate like I'm wearing a clan hood. It ain't left or right or black or white. It's good and evil. I leave folks hate normal people. United we stand and divided we fall. America, we got to get real. You are segregated. United we stand. Divided we fall. How many times have this guy said this? White is good and evil, I leave folks hate normal people United we stand and divided we fall, America we gotta get real You were segregated, that was not fair, you were enslaved, they did not care But you were never on a plantation and my generation was not there That's trauma in your DNA, causing what we see today I pray to God you staying strong, don't wanna see no man in pain You white folks, I'm embarrassed, some of y'all are such Karens That prejudice you inherited was racism from your parents Get that poison out your veins, whites and blacks are all the same They want us in our graves, just let me try to explain Okay, how many times have I said slavery was wrong? Let's, let's not beat around the bush. It was wrong. But how do we keep holding people accountable that we're not partakers of this? How? Something my four, four grand, whatever father, mother, whoever it is, ancestor did. How can I be held responsible for it? Y'all are such parents That prejudice you inherited Was racism from your parents Get that poison out your veins Whites and blacks are all the same They want us in our graves Just let me try to explain I swear they want us in a race for Dying every day for Whose lives matter more Whoa. I won't be dying in the race for Our government is paid for Cause our lives matter Who's benefit, benefiting from all of this? This is something I was trying to address in one of my, in my podcast as well. Who's benefiting from this? Getting people to fight against each other. Who's benefiting? And also, how long has this been going on for? When have you noticed that the argument keeps changing, the tactic and all of that that is being used keeps changing? The tactic changes. But the argument remains the same. That's the point I'm trying to make. 
the argument doesn't keep changing, the tactic just moves. If you born black, you lose, might as well go get that. You gon' die before you 25, get shot over your shoes. You gon' get killed by police, even when you follow the rules. If you listen to the news, you gon' believe all this is true. Don't cry for me when I'm done. When I did, <laughs> and as a black man, you're expected to be dead by 25. All this stereotype that is thrown out there by the media, again, was benefiting from this. Just a question. My life don't matter, sad, but that's the way that I feel. I feel like they feel like like I don't know what they all call me. Cis white male, bigot, racist. He's a Nazi. That's not me. I'm not one of these white liberal. people who can't pay the white bill, uh, their light bills could he say that anymore why does it always have to be about color rather than the reality that the system puts us in why do we always run first to color i feel like they're the ones who lose in their life when the worst thing you could be is not ashamed to be white white privilege is a system they position for division I ain't pro-white, I ain't pro-black, I'm pro-American. Great, but I'm going to take it up one, one step and say I'm pro-humanity. Come on, people. White, I'm pro-American. Every color turns up bones one day when you bury them. Whites and blacks are all the same. They want us in that grave. Just let me try to explain. I swear they want us in a race for dying every day. against them but it's you against me ain't nobody gonna win everybody gonna see that the color of your skin don't change the color that you bleed i swear they want us in a race for dying every day for whose lives matter more and the most important thing in all of this from listening to this guy so far is that rather than people listen they want to jump to conclusion. Listen, people, listen. Some people sitting there orchestrating all of this. But you're hating the wrong person or people. In every day for whose lives matter more. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I don't think I've listened to anything from Tom so far. Maybe I've missed something. And when I say listen, I mean really listen. Not just jump on the bandwagon of what's been reported about him and all of the sort of nonsense. Listen to what he's actually saying. There are truth that needs to be heard. I think we've been skipping around the issue for too long. And I think we've 
had too much time picking sides that there is a sense of shame, guilt or um, embarrassment that comes with having to reevaluate your position. It shouldn't be like that. As humans, when we're faced with a position that questions our belief, it's important that we try and check that where it comes from. Black or white, green or blue, whatever it is, American or not, British, African, wherever you're from in the world, your life matters. And that's what the argument should be. Isn't it interesting that when you are in a nation where the population, uh, the population are divided by race, that becomes the argument. If you're in a nation where the population are divided by language or tribes, that becomes the argument. The point I'm trying to make is the tactics are always different, but the end goal is always the same. Division, that's the end goal. If they can't divide you by race, they'll divide you by language, they'll divide you by tribe, they'll divide you by if you've got kids or don't have kids, they'll divide you by if you've got dogs, they'll divide you by if what pet you've got. It doesn't matter what it is. Division is the end goal. And this is the thing that we all need to really think about. Rather than going against the person that points this out to you, how about we sit back and think, are we all being played here? Is a question. You let me know in the comment section below. Tom, fires again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. If you like what we're all about, please like, subscribe, and join our community. And until next time, people, you make sure that you continue to leave your recommendation in the comment section below. I believe this has only been out a few days. I've only just spotted it. And you guys stay safe. It has been Kings. Peace. Bye for now. Oh, don't forget to check out our merch if you want to support us. Stay safe now, guys. <laughs>